have one Earth. And our Earth is a land of depleting and finite resources. In order to create a truly sustainable future, we have an obligation to preserve and recycle these resources. Seven billion people today, nine billion people by 2050, we're using more and we're chucking more away. So we cannot go on like that. By taking a lead in moving away from using prime or mined aluminum and reusing the existing aluminum instead, Novellus is challenging the aluminum industry's business as usual. When it comes to aluminum, making new aluminum out of already existing aluminum is much more environmentally sustainable. Something on the order of 95% less energy use, 95% less greenhouse gas emission. Novellus's growing global investments in recycling also create high value jobs, which require significant technical expertise. As we move towards our goal of 80% recycled content in all our products, we will have our absolute carbon footprint and reduce the amount of GHG from the supply chain annually by an extraordinary 10 million tons. It will also mean we will still use significantly less energy and water, while also ensuring the security of our aluminum input supply for the future. This closed-loop process, where raw materials are reused and recycled over and over again, helps create what is increasingly known as the circular economy. It's a new way of thinking about our resources. At Novellus, we like to keep our metal in the loop. With Evercan, for example, used beverage cans become new cans again within just 60 days. We already like the story about cans. So to now be able to say we have a stamp on our cans that show that it is made from 90% recycled materials, that it is a very sustainable product, just fit with what we were trying to do. Some of the world's major automotive manufacturers now partner with Novellus to create lightweight cars, which reduces fuel consumption significantly. And instead of cars just going to scrap, they can be made from aluminum and designed specifically to become new cars again at the end of their useful life. In order to help make this vision a reality, Novellus is building the world's largest aluminum network. With these expansions, we are nearly doubling our recycling capacity to be able to process around 2 million metric tons of scrap by 2015. At our research and technology facilities, we are constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible with our metal. We work closely with customers to evolve specifications, allow the use of more recycled content, and different types of scrap, and design with end-of-life recycling in mind whenever possible. We are also increasingly advancing our sorting technology to be able to remove non-aluminum scrap from the mix, while also developing new ways to separate different aluminum scrap alloys to increase the efficiency of our processes. From all of these initiatives and more, we are working to improve the whole life cycle performance of the products that our aluminum goes into. We have also been working to develop systems with our customers to take back any aluminum scrap created within their manufacturing process, such as stampings during the production of car panels. Novellus is establishing partnerships globally to increase post-consumer recycling rates. From campaigns to increase awareness for the importance of recycling at the consumer level, to collaborations that invest in growing recycling infrastructure, we are investing in technology that can process many diverse forms of scrap, from automotive parts to buildings at the end of their lives. Once the aluminum scrap metal is collected, the material enters the Novellus recycling process at one of our global recycling centers. Much of our scrap is cleaned, sorted, and shredded into pieces the size of a walnut in a 1,000 horsepower shredder. Next, any coatings are removed and it is melted to become molten aluminum once again, as in the beginning of the aluminum's life. Melting the scrap, though, is not as simple as you may imagine. The aluminum shreds are first fed into melting furnaces containing submerged stirrers that create a vortex in the pool of molten aluminum and drag the shreds quickly down into the melt. Most of our furnaces use natural gas and have fuel-efficient, state-of-the-art regenerative burners and burner management systems to reduce the amount of energy used and the impact on the environment. They are also equipped with jet or sometimes magnetic stirrers, which ensure an even temperature and composition by promoting metal circulation within the furnaces. Once the molten metal is ready, 
it has to be cast into ingots for subsequent processing. The molten metal is transferred into a holding furnace, where it is treated to remove impurities before casting the aluminum. Ingots are cast by tilting the holding furnace and pouring the molten metal into a casting unit. The metal is treated in a two-stage process to remove any remaining microscopic non-metallic particles and gases, with chemical composition and metal cleanliness tested on each cast. As the metal flows into the molds, it is chilled by jets of cool water pumped around and through the base of the mold. The aluminum ingot solidifies gradually during the casting process, which takes approximately three hours. The finished products out of our process, typically 25-ton ingots, that each contain approximately 1.5 million used cans, are equivalent in quality to ingots created using mined bauxite. The ingots are then shipped to a mill for rolling into the sheet, and the whole process begins again. Aluminum is an incredible material, but it's what we do with it that makes it precious, and at Novellus, we keep it in the loop again and again.